Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. You've got the Devil card, the Seven of Cups, the King of Swords and the Star card here. So it looks like you've been waiting for something to come to light there. You've been waiting for some kind of legal news. You've been waiting for something to come, some kind of truth to come to light over there with that Queen of Swords. You've been through a lot as well, a lot of conflicts, a lot of problems. Maybe you're waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in with that Queen of Swords. Um, whatever you've been doing, you're certainly getting guidance. Um, you've been shown the way as well with that star card. Uh, it is coming in from the divine. It's about you interpreting it. So you could be getting some dreams, some ideas. You know, maybe people are randomly saying things to you that you didn't expect them to say. Uh, and you're thinking about it quite carefully as well. Because uh, this is, um, you know, this is almost like messages coming in from the divine. And you're needing to, uh, you can see he's working with crystals over there. So you need to interpret these messages. So if you're having dreams, uh, you know, keep a dream journal and, and, and look at these dreams. Um, because there's solutions, answers coming in for you there. You might be facing something legal as well. So this is possibly why what you're waiting for, that Queen of Swords. Uh, so something legal coming in over there. Um, and a decision will be made. Uh, so some... Some kind of big news coming in over there. So some kind of legal decision being made. Even contracts could could be signing. This could even be a, an official decision coming in from the work front over there. But certainly some kind of, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's a decision that's going to be made. And from then onwards, you can start moving on. Because you're at the point, whatever this decision is that's going to make, be made, it's going to throw a little bit of a spanner in the works there because it leads you, puts you into a state of confusion, uh, not knowing quite what to do. Maybe you've been procrastinating about doing something and whatever this decision is, is now, uh, you know, it stresses you out a little bit over here. You can see this person is looking at these cups and, you know, one set of cups is almost like it's on fire there. So um, whatever the decision is, it's going to, um, force you into researching and and making a decision. You, it's going to force you out of procrastination, in other words. Uh, and it's got to do with work. The devil card is ruled by Saturn. Uh, you've learned a lot of lessons because the devil uh, card is uh, it's a Capricorn card, so it's ruled by Saturn, and this is about career and work and um you know taking a risk taking a chance and maybe you've been procrastinating about that but there's something that is coming to light some kind of decision being made that's going to force you into making some kind of choice now you know whatever you're doing uh you might be dealing with somebody that's a bit of a bully at work or it's causing you to spend a lot of hours at work um uh, and you know maybe you've been wanting to move on but you know you're too scared to move on uh but something is coming in um, so that you are forced to make a decision to move or to change uh, the way you've been doing things. You've been feeling very, very trapped and very unhappy in whatever you're doing at the moment with this devil card. Maybe you feel as though you're bullied by somebody as well. And they're pushing you to your limits, it seems, with this devil. Right, so you've got the Eight of Cups over here. So it seems like whatever this decision is, whatever this legal news is, whatever this official decision is, it's going to um, uh, cause you to take your things and move. Uh, you take your skills, take your talents and move and leave behind, um, you know, that, that past. It might be that you are working with somebody who is abusing their power and pushing you around quite a bit. They are quite manipulative, this particular person this devil and they are pushing you around and making you uh you know bow down to whatever their needs are but it seems like you're going to uh leave that behind and move on with that eight of cups there's a new offer that you are you are taking on so whatever this new job is uh it's going to rely a lot on your expertise and whatever you've learned and you are certainly taking your skills and moving on uh it might be a position where you teach or or you train people up uh, but it's certainly going to bring in a lot of money, whatever this new position is, because this is the king of coins. And you have, you know, you're a person uh, who's an expert at whatever it is you're doing. So your expertise is going to be invaluable in this new job. And it's certainly going to bring in the coin there. So it looks like you, you're moving on. You're leaving behind this old situation and you're going on. You've certainly uh, been very stressed out recently. You may have had some physical illnesses as well. So a lot of pressure coming on. And, you know, you may have gotten 
quite ill recently. Um, there has been a need for you to take some rest, some time off to deal with this anxiety. So a decision will be made with the Emperor card over here. Um, you know, and um, because this is about legal decisions. Um, this is also about maybe you have been dealing with somebody who's very much a bully, who's not been listening to you as well at all. Maybe making you feel a little like the fool, uh, you know, like you're somebody who doesn't have any expertise or any anything to give. Um, and maybe, you know, they're not listening to whatever you've got to say. Whatever you say, they ignore it. So whoever this person is, they're very manipulative. And this is the way that they're controlling you by making you feel small and insignificant. There's certainly a decision that's going to be made. This could be a legal decision that you could be waiting for to come in or an official decision that you could be waiting to come in. But it has been stressing you out quite a bit, whatever this decision is. But you are going to be starting something brand new, it seems. You're moving on. And there you are. You've got the fool on your mind. So you are planning on making a fresh start. And things, you know, you want things to start moving. You've got that hair over there. So things are going to start going pretty quickly for you soon. Now, you've got the Queen of Cups going to the future. This is waiting for that news to come in, waiting for that offer to come in. But still feeling very isolated, very alone, very depressed as well. Uh, you know, you need to get out of that negative energy that's running through this card uh, and that energy about feeling, um, you know, scared and worrying about money as well. It seems like that's what you're also worrying about. Now, you've got the Knight of Cups. So this is the offer that comes in. It looks like it's going to be a good offer. It might be an overseas offer that comes in because it's the Knight of Cups. But this could also be an, an offer for further study or further training. You've got that King of Coins, and he is sitting amongst bookshelves over here. So you are an expert. You could be training people up, but also it could be that you are furthering your career by doing some further training, further study. This is accepting an offer here with this Knight of Cups. It's a pretty good offer, but this could be about travel, and this could be something overseas that you're doing as well. Maybe this job is is in a place that's close to water as well with this Knight of Cups. You got the Ten of Wands, so uh, you know this situation where you have been carrying all the load on and responsibilities on your back is about to end. You can see this person's planting the rods firmly in the water and and sort of parting them and moving on. So it seems like there might be this job that comes in from overseas that allows you to abandon whatever you've been doing and move forward. Uh, and you're not going to be having so much of responsibilities in this job over here. You may have been dealing with some really difficult people and having to solve some really difficult problems over here. So you are waiting for this uh, ish, this uh, offer. Maybe you're worried that it's uh, something overseas. Um, you could also have, you know, since you have been getting over, you, you may have been getting over some health issues. This King of Cups is also about you worrying about your health as well. And you may be uh, uh, needing to seek some kind of medical help as well with that King of Cups. So if you're worried about health issues, make sure you get that seen too as well. Now going into the future, you've got the Eight of Swords, the Six of Coins, and the Temperance card. So the Eight of Swords is, uh, you know, still feeling very frustrated, feeling very stuck, waiting for some information to come to light before you can make a move. Something that is not being seen by you. So you haven't, something has not come to light. You can see her eyes are covered over there. So you are waiting for that information. Right now you are feeling very, very trapped. You might be lashing out at the people around you, uh, maybe having a little bit of a short fuse there. Uh, so just hang in there. Uh, this is about... Uh, you know, the solution will come uh, and try not to let it get to you. The waiting. Six of coins, the offer coming in for you and whatever this new job is, you can, it seems like, you know, uh, people are more than one person vying for your attention over here and you're going to have uh, to weigh, there might be a choice in jobs, so there might be two jobs on offer over here and you're going to have to weigh up which one suits you better, but certainly you're going to bring in the coin with that six of coins over here. You're going to have to negotiate your salary, it seems, with this new job as well. And then you've got the temperance card. So there's something that you're not seeing. You can see it's almost like she's got her head buried in the sand there or buried in the water. Uh, and things go on going on behind her back there. So, um, you know, be careful, be aware that things could be going on that you're not aware of. Um, you know, not seeing everything with that uh, eight of swords. Uh, and like I said, negotiation, you're going to have to negotiate, um, you know, what you want. Um, the temperance card is also about using your skills and talents that you have and putting that forth, um, you know, getting your balance back again. Um, but certainly things happening around you that, you know, things are in the works that you're not aware of. It's 
it's going in your favor because you can see there's a tree of luck and then this tree is full of leaves over here and um you know it's about going from a position of lack to a position of abundance so behind the scenes you know things are working out in your favor so don't be so stressed out and so worried about it uh there's also that need with this temperance card for you to look after your health you had that king of cups over here so you might need to go and seek some medical attention for whatever it is that is worrying you and try and get into a position where you're in low anxiety a low stress state so, you know, take a little bit of a break, take a holiday, let your hair down, go out and have some fun as well, because these things all affect your health. And, you know, for Virgo, once, uh, you know, you feel stressed out, that immediately has an impact on your health, um, you know, on your digestion. Watch what you're eating, uh, get some rest, take a little bit of a holiday. If you can't take a holiday, at least make sure you're getting a good night's rest. That's very, very important. Um, you know, and even if you have to walk near water uh, to just um, improve, uh, you know, your energetic uh, body, this is what you need to do as well. But things are in your favor. and There might be a, a very loyal friend around you that's going to be there to help you, um, you know, sort through whatever it is you're going through at the moment. So you're waiting right now, feeling a little bit negative, though, Um but you needn't be because it seems like you're going to leave all these burdens and responsibilities behind. It's going to be a very good position. Uh, you're going to be able to negotiate the best salary and you're going to be able to take your skills and move on. And you're going to be away from that influence uh, of this person that has been pushing you around with that emperor energy going on there. The emperor energy also has been, uh, you know, uh, a need for you to watch your resources. So don't go overboard as far as spending during the Christmas period. Make sure that you are watching how you spend and what you spend on. So, uh, this is cards from the um, Wolf Pack. And the first card is Outcome. Even though you are experiencing many obstacles, you will survive any and all conditions. Many lessons learned, the results of your experiences are presenting their rewards. So like I said, you are somebody who is very, very trained up. You have a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience. You can see this fox, uh, this wolf jumping over the, the stream. So maybe this job that you're going to do is an overseas uh, move. It's a jump overseas. Um, and, you know, it's going to be a very, very positive outcome. People are going to rely. They're using, they need your experience. Uh, so, you know, you're going to be very much in demand there. You know, you're going to be able to ask, tell them exactly what you want them to pay you. Uh, so you're going to be able to negotiate for a better salary as well. You're at the crossroads in your life here. Uh, so the choices you make now uh, must be practical and not emotional. You are not at a dead end. You are free to choose the direction in, that you want. So make sure you plan. So you are at a turning point in your life. Things are about to change for you there. And you are going to get news about it. And it's going to be good news. And um, so you must have faith. Um, so within the next two weeks or so, you should get news about whatever it is you've been waiting for. So this new job is coming your way. You're going to be able to negotiate a salary. And it's a very, very positive outcome because it could be a mean a move or relocation, uh, something overseas as well, but it's going to allow you to overcome everything that you've been going through. And it's going to be, uh, you know, a lot depends on the skills that you have acquired. And you can see this man's taking his skills and moving his, his uh, notes, leaving behind the past and a new doorway opening for him there. And that is very, very important that you will start something brand new um, and it will be relying on all these skills that you have acquired because you've been doing a lot of learning and studying. It might mean that you have to do further learning and studying, um, but it's certainly going to be bringing in money for you. So I hope that this reading has resonated. Oh, dear. <laughs> I meant to draw some cards from Fairy Tale. Well, let me draw some as well. Okay, so the first card is the Princess of Spring. So it's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons. Let creativity take flight. So this Princess of Spring is the uh, page of uh, rods. And this looks like it's an overseas job. And that's going to come in for you. And uh, it's going to allow you to do a lot more travel expanding your horizons there. You've got the five of springs, so opposing goals. There's a lot of competition that is going on within getting this job, but it looks like you're going to be in demand because of your skill set there. And then you've got the empress, and this is about the money. So this is the money coming in for you over here. So time to take action, the power of creativity. 
and success that allows for a life of luxury. So whatever you've been going after is going to be a really good success financially. This is a card ruled by Venus, your improvement of your personal finances over here. So the money is definitely coming in for you. Whatever this job is that's going to come in, this new job, it's certainly going to rely a lot on these skills that you have. There might be some further training, but it's certainly going to bring in a lot of money. And you're going to be in demand, even though there's a lot of competition for the job. It looks like you're going to be somebody that people want uh, to work for them. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.